Moral Politics, How Liberals and Conservatives Think is a 1996 book written by cognitive linguist George Lakoff. In this book, Lakoff explores the origins of people's political identities as either liberals or conservatives, which he believes are rooted in two distinct belief systems. According to Lakoff, liberals are guided by a nurturant parent model, while conservatives adhere to a strict father model. Lakoff begins by explaining that these two models shape how individuals perceive the world and their role in it. The nurturant parent model, favored by liberals, posits that the world is essentially neutral, and people are born with inherent rights and tools to explore and navigate it. In contrast, the strict father model, embraced by conservatives, suggests that individuals are best molded through reinforcement learning to avoid risk-taking decisions in a fundamentally hostile world. Lakoff grounds his argument in Freudian theories, but illustrates his points with examples from contemporary politics. He contends that both liberals and conservatives use metaphors and beliefs about the family to understand governance. Conservatives align with the strict father model, structuring their families around a dominant paternal figure, which they analogize to government. This model assumes that individuals, like children, require discipline to internalize social norms and become responsible adults. In the strict father model, when children, analogous to citizens, become adults, they are released from this power dynamic, assuming the role of fathers themselves. This belief system suggests that the government should refrain from interfering in the affairs of responsible individuals within society. Lakoff then contrasts the strict father model with the nurturing parent model favored by liberals. In this model, both mothers and fathers share equal power to protect their inherently good children from external forces that can harm their moral and ethical beliefs, such as pollution, social injustice, and poverty. Lakoff acknowledges that most people likely hold a mix of both belief systems, choosing contextually and sometimes unpredictably which metaphors to apply to different situations. He extends this theory to political discourse, emphasizing that political rhetoric relies on invoking belief-based metaphors and encouraging audiences to prioritize certain ones. Lakoff also criticizes liberals for inadvertently reinforcing conservative beliefs by using conservative terminology in their discourse, urging them to develop their own linguistic systems that do not empower conservative metaphors. In the latter part of the book, Lakoff explicitly endorses the liberal mindset over the conservative one arguing that it is more conducive to a healthy society. He cites the United States Constitution's rejection of metaphors supporting patronage relationships as evidence of the superiority of liberal principles, favoring rationality, logic, and tolerance over tradition and unchecked patriarchal power. Moral politics offers a framework for understanding political beliefs and the metaphors that underpin them. Lakoff encourages readers to engage with political attitudes and the metaphors people use to influence each other, advocating for a more nuanced and thoughtful approach to political discourse. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.